rule change. I think it's really disingenuous to have a. To, I, I'm sick with the flu for three weeks. I'm a person who's disabled, and I have to come here to speak, and I'm given one minute. It's just really disingenuous. Um, secondly, m removing benches hurts a lot of people to curb a smaller problem. When you look at the incident reports here, it's things like open container, trespassing, smoking. Is that really infringing on the whole neighborhood? Sit lie. I thought the sit lie. <laughs> yeah. Sitting lie offenses because there's no bench. <laughs> yeah. The benches were beautiful. I thought it was one of the most beautiful things designed in the neighborhood in a long time, in addition to Jane Warner Plaza. And, uh, you know, I'm a night person. I'm often at Cafe Floor for events till 2. I don't get home till 3. If you're not up at 3, you don't see me there. Uh, my friends are out at night going downtown to events. Donna Sachet, we meet at Harvey Mill Plaza to assemble before we get on Muni or come back up. Um, I just think it was a beautiful design. That there could have been a design where the chairs flipped so you couldn't sleep there. I don't know if that was the issue. I just think that the problem with the city is there's nowhere for youth to go. And my friends who are 50 and 60 make a lot of noise at night at 2 in the morning. We could be the problem, but we're not homeless. And I just think we need to look at the larger issue and involve a lot of different people to have this discussion when you're doing something as major as removing public seating from a public plaza, especially when it's named after Harvey Milk, who probably would have been livid about all the controversy in this neighborhood about control of the flag and public benches and all the other BS stuff. It's just a shame. Uh, somehow the incidents dropped almost 50% from September to October with the benches there. That's what I think you should be looking at, what was working. Rain. Installing, installing.